this reaction video is not going to be very entertaining, guys, because as much as I love Star Wars, and I do, I love, I love it wholeheartedly, despite the fact that I haven't seen Solo yet, I'm very, very nervous for it, and I know I need to get on it, and I'll probably do it next week. I love Star Wars. Star Wars trivia? I suck at it. I suck so bad. I blink almost every time. So I'll just throw out some random ass guess. And it's it's very bad. It could be the simplest question. And I will usually mess it up. So what this reaction video is probably going to entail is me getting wrong answers. And me complaining about not being at the live event because I live in Michigan and not California. But I did wear my Star Wars pants for the occasion. They're not very high quality, but that's Chewbacca. I'm very excited. Um, the pre-interviews, one of my favorite things was listening to Christian and Mark snicker during Ken's interview. Which is so stupid. I love it though. I was smiling the whole time. I didn't realize that Scrimshaw was that funny. Like, I don't remember him being that funny. But I was cracking up during his interview, too. So, without further ado, let's get this thing going. Maybe. My computer updated, so everything's kind of weird now. Like, my screen recorder is different. And slower, but whatever. Then... It's time for the Movie Trivia Schmodown! Three rounds in the Star Wars I can't wait till I move to California and I can go to all these. Because I will. I will be attending all of them. First. When I move out there. Which will be years. Representing the Force Center Podcast. Give it up for... Joseph, the Jedi Knight, Scroomshaw! Yes, Joseph. She got the ring. He's coming down. He's ready to go. He should have a Minnesota shirt on. He's a total nerd. He's an Obi-Wan version. I don't know if I trust him to be a good guy as much as I trust him. I don't know. Him. Yeah, he's got something all along the line. He's like a great Jedi. Yeah, well, he's he's certainly, he certainly knows his stuff. I mean, you look at what he did. Him and Damon were the stars of that particular fan five. He's obviously seen one of the breakout stars. So now here he is, Scrimshaw, first on the table there. Getting, yeah. ready, getting ready. Oh, and he's got, he's using the force. He's oh. using the force. He just knocked over the cameraman on the wow. way in. He wow. almost just killed our cameraman, but he used the force to do it. Using the force to summon a Stella Artois, yeah. the official yeah. beer there of the Jedi. Ew. Coming <laughs> out next, but I'm representing Star Wars Explained. Some cheap. Give it up for Alex the Demon! Demon! He Alex, he is all business emerging. Right through. Led to the ring by his wife Molly. Right. Molly's coming in, the two of them. And you're right, he is just shaking some hands along ready. the way. He's ready, shaking hands with fans, saying hello to people, walking in. I see he's late to the party. He's enjoying the attention, I think. He's really started to warm to the spotlight. Yeah. That was the question. He's not a professional stand-up comedian like no. the other two, but he does know his way around a Star Wars stage. He knows his stuff. Mm. Why is this? The tool you've been waiting for. Why is this the ad for the Star Wars one? Chic Hydro Silk Trim Style. Free your skin. He knows his stuff. I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe not. And the need to sneeze. Opponent, representing the Lion's Den. He is the former movie trivia schmodown Star Wars champion of the world, the Pit Boss. What is this hat? JT is with him. JT is here JT is well. with him. There he is. Oh, that's Van Williams just, also. Van Williams. Yeah, Van Williams. Uh, Williams a Williams. musician who's got back from a tour. Van Williams, the lion then coming in. He's got a megaphone, Van Williams. Has. He's got a Van Williams has a bullhorn. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? Who's that with him? Who's coming in with him? Look at this. Look at this entrance here. 
Sonic us. Wow. He's got the best jacket in the That's his protege. Marky and Porsche Donica right behind him here as Ken Napsok makes his way. And that is intimidating, Mark. Pretty cool mask, so. You just gotta hope they don't like, trip. The paint on that? You don't want to see Dagnino's firing stuff into the crowd. What is he doing? Look at this. This is this free stuff. Quite an arm that's on like him. Going with the underhand softball pitch. Yeah, that's the way he entered. Look at that's a really milking it. As he's coming in, you have the shit for the entire JT. crowd. JT, uh, JT, they can't write an answer yet. There's no cheating yet. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> Get out of here. What are you, painting a house? Nice outfit. <laughs> here comes uh, Ken Napsok and uh, that, is, that is uh, Donica and uh, is that an Imperial Guard? Or... So if it's alright with you to actually I don't sit know down, what's going on. Like sit down. What are we playing here? Are terrible costumes. Not very friendly, I'll say that. He's auditioning for the, uh, the WWF band uh, Demolition, I guess. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You know, maybe the most impressive part of those intros is that Joseph Scrimshaw not only summoned a Stella Artois, he also used the force to open it without a bottle opener. I like that. Very yeah, impressive very stuff. Very smart. Alright. It's a mystery. I hey, I may not control a Schmolden anymore, yeah. but I control a map. Can you control your words? You mumbled every one of them. Get out of here. Yeah, I don't even know what he said. So we are said, now. We are now going to I don't have control this the is a match. A triple threat but match. I control We're going to go over know. the rules here. The winner of this match will indeed play the champion at Collider Collision. So, Mark, tell us how round number one works. In round number one of this Love three Sam round Whitmer. battle, the competitors are going to hear ten questions from ten different corners of the Star Wars galaxy. The questions are asked Sam to Whitmer the field. As Star soon as you hear Wars. the question, please write down your best Rebels. attempt at an answer on the whiteboard provided in front of you. You have 15 yeah. seconds to He's write down your answer. Once we ask you by name Thanks to reveal Rebels. your best attempt at an answer, please show it to the camera the crowd, know. and to us as you verbalize it in into the microphone. Enough. Each question is worth one point. There's no. But I know he's in one spot in time. I in round one, I will remind you, gentlemen, of your three usages throughout the match of the JTE rule. If you're not sure, you heard a question right, you need to buy yourself some time, use the JTE rule. You also have a challenge. And because this is a live character. event, I will remind everybody out there in the crowd once again that this is a very special match, and we want these people to be answering the questions, not anybody else. You're probably going to know some answers. Don't how even does, think them. Don't whisper them to somebody else. Don't even reaction, run out and scream them on the streets of North Hollywood. Just don't do it or you will be in the crowd. Do they write it by somebody much bigger down in the lap and like right. show the phone? That being something? said, Alex no. Damon, are you ready? I am ready. Ooh. Joseph Scrimshaw, are you ready? The I will of the up, force like. is with me. <laughs> Ken Napsok, are you ready? What foul tricks have you cooked up, Harloff? Let's Shut go. Up. Then let's get ready to schmoot All right, here we go. Round number one. Question number one comes in the realm of Revenge of the Sith. Who tells Padme Amidala that the Chancellor is a Sith Lord? Oh, just calm me down. It is. It's a hat. It's crazy. And when we're live, I feel like a golf commentator. Five, four, you write the question. three, two, and the answer. One. Pens down. Please I don't know. Say it but I put Kenobi. Well, Alex Damon. Obi Wan Kenobi. That's correct. Ken. Obi Wan Kenobi. Correct, Joseph. Obi Wan. Because I'm not Obi Wan. There you go. Next question. Tied at one apiece. Your next question comes from name perhaps the most beloved of all Star Wars Son movies, Kenobi. Attack of the Clones. I think it's such a cool baby name. Your question is: name Who is greets Anakin and Obi Wan when they exit the elevator on their way to meet Padme at the beginning of the film? Repeat, please. JTE rule usage, you have two left. In the movie Attack of the Clones, who greets Anakin and Obi-Wan when they exit the elevator on their way to meet Padme at the beginning of the film? I'm not sure. I feel like this is wrong. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Ken. Representative Jar Jar Binks. Correct, Joseph. Yeah, I Jar Jar Binks. Correct, Alex. But now that they say that, I can picture it. The Beloved whole character scene. Jar Jar Binks. Question number three is in Return of the Jedi. In Return of the Jedi, how does Luke address Vader for the first time on Endor's Imperial landing platform? What does he call him? Is it Ellis? Ellis? Or is it Marcus? I don't know. 
Well, it's Mark. It's awkward to do this in front of people, but yes, it is Mark. There's people here. Yeah. Uh, I know your middle name, George. I put father, but that's way too early. One. Pens down. Joseph. Father. Correct. Alex. Father. Ken. Father. Tied up at three. Wow. Tied up at three. There we go. Next one. All right. Your next question comes from eye. episode one, The Phantom Menace. I'm thinking Empire. <laughs> Here to ask the I question, we have a father. fan of the Phantom Menace. Your query is, what is Chancellor Valorum's first name? Mm. <laughs> I don't think I know this anymore. I don't, I'll take anybody on. But all these other movies that have been released, there's things you don't know. Of, and, and about Star Wars, too. About Five, a great many four, things. <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Alex. Finnis. Correct. Ken. Finnis. Joseph. Stan. Oh, Joseph missed it. Oh. Alex, Alex and Ken go by one. That could be crucial in it with these three. All right, that is the brain fart he was referring yeah, to. Yeah, it was. All right, here's the next they one. All go all the way At here? least it's a good name for sounding like a brain fart. <laughs> Finnis. I don't Finis. remember. All right, next question, number five, is in The Force Awakens. Who disables the shields on Starkiller Base? You read that like Regis Philbin. I want you to know. Good. That's Who a, disables the shields? It's a compliment. <laughs> he is a legend, I guess. Of course. Yeah. How dare you? Five, four, three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Pens down. Ken. Captain Phasma. Correct. Joseph. Phasma. Wait, Correct. I'm and trying Alex. to think. Captain I don't Phasma. think it was him. Oh, so we go five, five, four. Okay. This is tough. Yeah. Your next question comes from the world of Star Wars Episode Four: A New mind, Hope. But I couldn't and your query is: What said. creatures do stormtroopers ride on Tatooine? They look good in. They look. Five. They're the dinosaur-looking things, aren't they? Three, two, or are they the camel? Dubaks. Correct. Alex. Yeah, I don't know their names. Dubaks. Ken Napsok. Uh, Dubaks. Kenner called them patrol Dubaks. Oh, you nerd. <laughs> Here we go. So, you got it. Ah. You got it. All right. Six, six, five. And we Green. go to our next it's question here in this. Empire Strikes Back, the best Star Wars movie of all time. What did the Rebels on Hoth reroute all power into when they detected Darth Vader's fleet? Yeah, I just like a happy ending. You know? Boy, Jedi just makes me happy at the end. Empire, I'm like, well, we got some I don't work know. to do. I don't know, you know? these words. I feel, like, I feel like I have a job or something. Oh, you can do your countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Joseph. Shields. Yeah, we can take that. Alex. Shield generator. And Ken. Planetary shield. All right, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, three okay. different answers, all correct. <laughs> shield, shield. We'll take shield. All right. Next question. Just write words. We'll give it to you. <laughs> Jane, Your next Jane question. Fonda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my it. goodness. I love it. That was good. Uh, She's not even Get in out of Star here. Wars. Get out of here. Get out of here. Paint the fence. All right. You have three usages of the JT <laughs> rule and one usage of Finstock. You just used it. Yeah. Your next question comes from Rogue One, a Star Wars story. And your question is, so what was Jim Verso's mother's first name? Because we kind of know what her last name is. You just said it. Yeah, it was, you just kinda, literally kinda gave, gave it away. Five, four. <laughs> Whoops, it is. I have no idea. Two, you're special. One, Alex. Lyra. Correct. Ken. Lyra. Joseph. Lyra. Yeah. Great. All right, there you go. <laughs> well, as long, I thought it was, I, if you wrote Stan, I would have had a problem. <laughs> All right. Next question is from The Last Jedi. I knew it. I made a bet. I made a bet. All wow. Right. It's like looking That's at the crazy. internet right before us. <laughs> the That's Last crazy. Jedi. In, in The Last Jedi, Rose told Finn that she had to stun how many people for trying to jump ship? Uh, I've got to wonder how many opportunities they've had to see this movie. Five, I'm not sure. Four, three, I've had two, four opportunities. Four. Alex. Three. Correct. Ken. Three. Correct. Joseph. Three. Four. There you go. All right. So this is interesting here. So this is the last question in this round. If Alex and Ken get it right, they will also get a bonus question if they get it right because they have not missed yet. 
What's the question? With all apologies to Solo, this comes from the category of mixed bag. And your question is, in the Clone Wars film, what planet does the opening battle take place on? We're confident. It looks like we're going to have some bonus questions. we got to write one quick. I don't remember. I've seen this one that we want. This isn't right. That's One, too Kenner pretty. I've put in a booth. Correct. Joseph. Yeah. Christophsis no and Alex. Christophsis. Alex and Ken have a perfect right. round. Now we get the bonus question. Now only Alex and Ken will be answering this question, but they do still write on the board. So here we go to go up by two over Joseph. Okay, guys, here is your final question. Bonus question here. When Luke meets Yoda on Dagobah, what is Luke's initial response when Yoda asks who he is looking for? A lot of snakes on Dagobah. You ever notice that when you watch the movie? He's like, oh, it's just he kind of disregards him, but I don't know what he says to him. Two, one, pens down. Alex. Not nice, though. A great warrior. Correct. Ken. A great warrior. Uh, Look at that. They both go up by two on, here. Man. They both go up by two. Over Joseph. Joseph finds himself right. in a two point hole. You're going in round number two. Mark, how does round number two work? In round number two, the wheel of destiny slash fate is going to emerge, and on that wheel. You know it's fun when we're cheering for inanimate objects. There's the yeah. wheel, everybody. It's become, it's like the Millennium Falcon at this point. <laughs> it has no feelings whatsoever, it cannot hear yeah. you. The wheel has a bunch of different Star Wars movies on there. When you spin the wheel, you're going to land on one of those wedges. Once you land on a wedge, you are going to hear five questions from that category. Each question is worth two points. There is no penalty for missing a question. If you're not Why sure of the answer, you? you can ask us for oh, multiple no, choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. Oh. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing in round number two. Here's how stealing works in a triple threat match. If the competitor who we originally asked the question to does not I should have had more in that round, honestly. It is up to the other two to write down their best attempt at an answer on the whiteboard. They get it right. They will steal the question. All right. So uh, both Alex and Ken are tied. Ken, you are the former champion. You can choose. Would you like to go first or second? I'll have Alex spin. Alex is going to spin. All right, Alex, go ahead and give it a good spin, please. Well, Alex, actually, actually, you know what? Alex, 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 you actually, Alex, you have, you actually have a little more. If you don't want to go and you want Joseph to go, you can go. You, okay, then spin. Give a spin. Right. Big spin. I like the balls on the kid. Here we go. Here comes you Alex. You will be. <laughs> you will be. There's the spin here. It's it such a hard like floating Star Trek. Yep. Um, category or like we the. The Star Wars, Wars League. It could, it could be Star Wars. Star Wars new it hope. is. You're going to stay in New Hope. Okay. It's keeping a New Hope. All right, guys. So here what, we go. We got nine movies. Five questions here for Alex. All right. Why don't you kill time while I Unless you count space balls no and so the holidays. And we're at the, all right. There we go. All right. <laughs> Alex, we're going to start with New Hope here. Five questions. Remember, multiple choice, 15 seconds to answer the question. You do have all three of your JTU rules left. All right. Question number one in the New Hope. What hangar bay was the Millennium Falcon drawn into on the Death Star? 327. Correct. Two points for Alex. Question number two. What did Luke scape, scrape off R2-D2's chassis in the garage of A New Hope? Carbon scoring. That's two points. Well, He's seen the movie, Christian. Yep. Question number these are three. Very... I didn't get a chance to write it down. Question <laughs> number three. What does 3PO tell Uncle Owen he did at his first job? Can you say that again? What does 3PO tell Uncle Owen he did at his first job? Translator? Programming binary load lifters. That's uh, correct. You lose, yep. you lose one of your JTE rules. He there, just though. knows a bunch so, of them. So you're down to two. And here is your fourth question. According to 3PO, what did R2 call like him as he spell was it entering out the escape and then pod at the put beginning 3PO. of a new hope? Um, metal junk or something. Did R2 call? Repeat the question. Your second I, one. I am According not. To C3P, I know. What did R2 call, did he call him? As he was entering the escape pod? It always makes me laugh. Have a new hope. Gosh. What did he call him? Like useless or like junk. 
metal scrap or something. The pod at the beginning of a new hope. Multiple choice. Is it A, Goldenrod? B, Professor? C, Mindless Philosopher? Oh. D, Maybe it's Mindless C. Philosopher. I have no idea. And in a match yeah. like this, Christian, if you have to check I the multiple markers, that. it's seen as a weakness. Maybe it's Greasy as it calls R2 right, that somewhere along the way. Fifth and final question in round two, Alex. Whose arm does Obi-Wan cut off in the cantina at Tatooine? Ponda Baba. That is correct for two points. Alex having a great round, only going to multiple choice once. He's got a nine point lead over Ken and now 11 points over. A Joseph. great round for Alex, a demoralizing round for me who thought he knew a lot about that yeah. movie. All right, now Ken, you don't have to go next. If you want, you, Joseph can go. Mr. Scrimshaw can spin. All right, Joseph, you're up. I am not afraid. <laughs> Joseph going up now. Joseph needs a big round here to stay in distance of Alex and Ken. They're both, both buddies. They podcast yeah. about Star Wars together on Force Center. Big spin here for Joseph. Forced to be enemies here. Who needs to take? And there and it is. Spin. As Ken says, the spin is in. Are you yelling Meryl Streep? That's who they're cheering for now. Is that the Force, the Awakens. Force, Awakens. Force Awakens? Would you like to keep it, Joseph? You gonna keep it? You oh my god, get the off the so Joseph hits the Force Awakens here. All right. All right, so Joseph is gonna get five questions here in the realm of the Force Awakens. He's gotta catch up to Alex, who now has an 11 point lead, and Ken is still waiting to strike. Mr. Scrimshaw, your first question is, what job does Finn tell Han was one of his duties on Starkiller Base? He was a janitor uh, yeah, staff. Uh, janitor. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Two points. That works. All right. Your next question. Where does Finn want to go after he visits Maz Kanata's castle? We're looking for the specific place. Oh, wait. He just wants to run. Two know. points. Oh, the outer rim. I was thinking more specific. Right, I was like, question. I don't remember him saying. What nickname saying. does Han Solo call Finn by? Big deal. He's seen the movie, Christian. Yeah. Two more yeah. points. Two questions deal. left. Oh. Han. Your next question. What is the name of the outpost on Jakku that Ray regularly visits to turn in parts for supplies? I don't know the food? outpost. Nima outpost. Two more, more points. points. Last one. Scrimshaw here. not blinking, making up that ground. Yeah. Perhaps if he can get this one without the help of multiple choice. Your last question. What Indonesian actor played in the Raid series and also played a character named Tasu Leach in The Force Awakens? The actor's name? Yes, sir. Multiple choice, please. Mm. Is it A, Joe Taslin, B, Iko Uwes, B. C, Yayan Ruian, or D, Donnie Alazma? Just quiet. Iko Uwes. A, that is incorrect for the steal. For the steal. If either Alex or Ken just write I down go. either the actor's name or your number or your letter choice. Letter. Alex. Uh, I went C. That's correct. Ken. C. That's they a both big, got a steal. Big, big steal. steal. Alex Christian. gets a point. Ken a gets a steal. <laughs> All right. So that's it for Joseph's round. Now, Ken Knapsack, the former champion, is up, gets himself a point. And Alex now has a four point lead. A four point lead. Get out Sorry, of here. Get out of here, you idiot. So Finstock trying to bless the wheel with his mojo, trying to get the the best spin possible. Can we get a get out chant from the crowd? Thank you. Thank you. It's the weight of the wheel. It's the weight of the wheel. Get out of here. And that is a pit boss level spin. Round and round it goes. We have time to go across the street to Jamba Juice. Still spinning. If it lands on a new hope, I'm leaving. I've answered three questions correctly all night. Oh, hero, solo heroes. is an option. Heroes. Does Ken know anything about <laughs> heroes? He is spinning again. away from heroes. True to his character. Very vague. He's made, looking for villains. I did it. Okay, I did it. He's looking for villains. I spun heroes. Okay. Well, then why do you respin? Yeah. They should get a different. Heroes and villains. Why if they're gonna this time. It could be villains, do Christian. Star Wars? Could be villains. 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 That's kind of perfect. Kind of perfect. 
<laughs> kind of perfect. All right. All right, Ken, here you go. Get out of here. I'm going to throw you right into the street in a second. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, here we go. Next question. I just want to see question Christian one in the explode one day. Ken. What was the and name actually of the Imperial General in command of the base on Scarif and Rogue One? Don't know. Multiple choice. A. Rolar. B. Tag. C. Carvin. D. Ramda. 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 Ramda is correct. Ramda. One point. Cool. One point for Ken. All right, here we go. Next one. What was the last Lucky, line uttered choice. by Darth Vader? Slash Anakin before he died in Return of the Jedi. Tell your sister you were right. That's correct. Two points. Yeah. I like how we did the breathing for effect. All right. Shut up, Kirk. Come here. When I ask this, what? what is the name of the leader of Kanja Club? You're a dead man, Harloff. The leader of Kanja Club. Is Tasu Leach. That is correct for two points. I, I remember because he's played by C. <laughs> 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 it's tied up, Ken. <laughs> I was not told to study reality. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next question here, Ken. Two more. In the Clone Wars, upon their arrival on Tatooine, Anakin and Ahsoka are attacked and shot down by who? Stormtroopers. On their arrival. That's incorrect. This Alex could be a monster steal for Scrimshaw right now. Alex for the steal. Wasn't it? Dooku? That's incorrect. Joseph? Joseph? See you later. You're done. Uh, no, I'm done. All right. Oh, I thought the, he had it. The answer was the Magna Guards. Magna Guards. Magna Guards. That's a big opportunity missed for Scrimshaw. He trails Alex by four. Ken Napsok still one question to go. This is it, Ken. Here we go. In Return of the Jedi, what does Jabba the Hutt call Han Solo after he emerges from Carbonite? Scum? A, no, I don't know. Wookie feces. B, human scum. I was say C, Bantha Potter. Scum, D, right. Ewok puke. Uh, C, Bantha Potter. For one point. All right, so look at that. Alex now has a three-point lead. He and a fourth one over Joseph awesome. going into the final round. Alex has put himself in a great position here in round number three, the final <laughs> round, Mark. How's it work? Incredible play across the board by men who all somehow I have meaningful relationships with females. In round number three, this will decide the match, gentlemen. In round number three, we are going to get a series of numbers from each of you. Those numbers range from 1 to 20, I believe. You guys give us your numbers. They each correspond to a movie category up here at the answer desk. The first question we ask you is worth two points. The next one, three points. The last one is worth five points. Should we make it that far? There is no stealing in round three. There's no penalty for missing a question, but it will decide your fate because Joseph trails Ken and Ken trails Alex. Alex is going to be giving us his three numbers first. I would like red two, Wedge. Two. Red five, Luke Skywalker. And red three, big star glider. Two, five, and three for Alex. Okay. Thank you for the reminders. All right, and now we go to Ken, who's got, Ken is next. Damn. Ken. Uh, I'm going to go eight for Gary Carter, the greatest catcher in the Mets history. Yep. All right. Uh, we're going to go, then go number 10, just because uh, Pete Stoinovich was the kicker of the Dolphins. He wore that. Wow. And, of course, Number 13, the greatest quarterback from Pittsburgh, Dan Marino. All right, 8, 10, 13, 2, 5, and 3. Going a little off brand right. with the sports reference. Joseph, <laughs> I'm going to go 2, well, 3. Two, two is already taken. Already okay, taken. I can change that. Uh, right. So is one, 3. 1, 3. 3 is already taken. <laughs> okay, I can change that. <laughs> one, Come on, yes. 4. Okay. 18. All right, one, four. That's my social security number. <laughs> <laughs> one, four, and 18. <laughs> one, four, and 18. All right, All so right. we're going to start with Joseph. Category one, you? category, your two-pointer is category one. That's the Force Awakens. Your two-pointer, two-pointer here. What was the first location that Ray saw in her vision after touching the lightsaber she found at Maz's castle? 
the sports. Correct for two points. It's right. also known as oh. Vespin. Yeah, it is. Oh, see, that's two shots. Two shots. All right, I like that. All right, now Ken is up. Ken, Ken has category number eight. Category number eight. All right, Ken Knapsack, category number eight. Question from the movie The Last Jedi. Ultimos Jedi. Your question is, what is the name of the captain of the First Order Dreadnought? Captain Moden Kennedy. Two points for Ken. I wouldn't know that. <laughs> All right. But Alex still has a lead here, so we go back to Joseph. Go back to Joe. We go back to Joseph. Three-pointer. Yeah. And now Joseph has four. Number four. Number four, which is vehicles and technology. Vehicles and technology. Here we go. How many minutes would it take the Death Star to come into range of the Rebel base, according to the Imperial Tech's first report in A New Hope? 30 minutes. For three points. Uh -oh. Joseph Scrimshaw, he might want to take a picture of this. I don't know if it's going to last. He currently has the yep. lead deep in round three. Now Alex is up with category number two. Won't last. Right. Alex, Alex you chose uh, number two. Why is Alex up? Because it references something in Star Wars. Should be Ken. That is correct. Your Ken's the lowest. Alex. What? Oh, it's Ken's? Oh, it's Ken. You're right. Sorry. It is Ken. Sorry, screaming out. What is your problem? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The system is trying to help you. <laughs> All right, Ken. Ken, you're, you are down. You have your three-pointer, and you chose category number 10. <laughs> 10, which is heroes. Sorry, buddy. You got stuck with heroes after all. All right, he didn't want it. Heroes. Now he spins heroes, and Here we this go. is his three-point question. The question is, in the movie The Last Jedi... <laughs> What was the name of the bombardier on Paige's ship at the beginning of the film? I don't know. Repeat the question. In The Last Jedi, what was the name of the bombardier on Paige's ship at the beginning of the film? Five. Steven. Four. I don't know. Three. I'm going to need to repeat two. the question. In The Last Jedi, what was the name of the bombardier on Paige's ship at the beginning of the film? Five. I'm picturing it. I don't know the name. That's so three, specific. Two. Hal. <laughs> was not Hal. Looking for Nix Jurd. All right, so we, we are in a position here <laughs> that Ken needs to hit his five-pointer. If he misses it, it is between Alex and Joseph. I don't think if Ken, Ken would lose first. Hits, hit, misses his five-pointer. Here we go. It is number 13. Number 13, and that is in the category of the Skywalkers, Ken. Here's your five point. What is the first line that Luke says to Leia in A New Hope? I don't know. Five. Obi-Wan sent me. I don't know. To repeat the question, what is the first line Luke says to Leia in A New Hope? I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. Ken Napsok has been eliminated. The answer is, huh? Oh, the uniform. Aren't you a little short Ken for a Ken Napsok is the first out. He has been eliminated. It's right. down to Scrimshaw. Grimshaw and, and Alex Damon. Damon, here we go. Now, so now Alex. Alex has a chance. We go back to Alex Damon. Oh, oh, that's first. tough, Actually, he hasn't Ken. Any yeah, first. That is for Alex. tough. Now he gets to participate in round three. Congratulations, yeah. young oh, man. man. Alex TKO'd Ken, though. I'm Alex sorry, TKO'd Ken. Ken. Joseph right. TKO'd Ken. Joseph here, is, TKO'd. here is your question. Yeah. In the movie The Clone Wars, Joseph didn't Ian Abercrombie TKO'd provided Ken. the voice for who he had to in The Clone questions. Wars? Palpatine. Two points. Two points. Oh, shit. And he's got the lead again. Now we got the lead. I didn't now even look at the question. Is this for all the marbles, this Christian? Is it. This is all the marbles. Joseph here has category 18. Category 18 for Joseph. This is his five pointer. If he hits it, it goes back to Alex. If he misses it, Alex Hit Damon it so we can go down to the last question. Collision. Here we go. I love for final question. Who said it? Who said it? Number 18. As we get to number 18, who said it? Five pointer. Who said greed can be a powerful ally? Um, Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon Jinn. 
correct. <laughs> you, you. It's too Five far. Five points. Taking it way too so far. So now, Alex Damon, he can it pays he really to just, like the prequel. He really just needs to hit that five, but he's got a chance to get a big score here, but he just needs to hit the five. Here yeah, because go. fantasy points are fun. We'll ask him the three-pointer. He uh, picked the category five, and up here at the answer desk, category five corresponds to filming locations. It, it, none of this matters. Your question is, what European country provided the setting for the exterior scenes on Hawk? Finland. Doesn't matter that you're wrong, it's Norway. Norway, but that's the first question he's missed. But we're in this position now to where Alex has to hit the five-pointer. If he hits it, he goes to the collision. If he misses it, Joseph Scrimshaw goes to the collision. This is, I mean, this is, this is what we expected. They yeah. all know so much about Star Wars. That's we it. thought it would come down to the last question. Alex, you chose category here. three for your five-pointer. It's Empire Strikes Back. In the Battle of Hoth, the snow speeders fly in what attack a V. That... Can you repeat the question? Final one. Or is it supposed to be more off, specific than that? The snow speeders is fly it a v? in what attack pattern? Delta. And your oh, winner! Alex the Demon! I, the I don't know. Demon! So, for the entire match, wow, I, I told you guys it was going to go poorly. If I were Alex, I'd have two, Knapsack, two, Grimshaw, eight, because of the five-pointer. Without the five-pointer, what's over here? Uh, I'm not coordinated. Without the five pointer, it was three. You get the picture. Ugh. I'm going to work though, Alex Damon, because I was not expecting him to pull all that out. So, 10. I, that is a shitty question to go out of. As much as I can't stand you right now, I love you, but I can't stand you. Uh, it's one of those love hate relationships. Like, I love to hate you. So, that was a really shitty question. Like, it's fair, but what you said was probably the very second thing that he said. And the, oh, what? The uniform. That just sucks. That sucks. Alright. Oh, I need to go see Solo. It's bad. Very bad. Okay, bye guys, have a great day. Make sure to check out the link in the description and watch the entire match and all of the things collider. Oh!